Hey, what's going on guys? Brandon here with Texas Plinking. I've got a really, really fun rifle to showcase today. This is a Desert Tech SRS A2, 26 inch barrel, uh, 6.5 Creedmoor. Now we're gonna get into it. Now, I was just kind of thinking before shooting, it's kind of a back and forth idea with this content that if you're in the market for something like this, I want you to get a lot of information out of this video, but I know most of you guys are living vicariously or even possibly watching from a country that doesn't allow you to get something like this, unfortunately. And I want to have something entertaining for all of the viewers, whether you're in the market for it or just living vicariously, like I said. With that said, there is quite a bit of information on a rifle like this, like a lot of features. So I'm gonna try to kind of give you a uh, abbreviated version of a review. More than anything, I just wanna shoot it. So I hope you guys understand that. With that said, um, I've actually got a spec sheet here. So we're just gonna rip through some specs real quick, put some uh, pretty B-roll and then start shooting. Now, I actually already have experience with this gun um, at 100 yards, sighting it in, and then 1,000, and then one mile. I already have that content shot from last month, but I haven't shot it on this property yet, and more than anything today, I just wanna have fun with it and group it at 455 and 686 yards on freshly painted steel. See what it does, because uh, it's quite an accurate thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and make the review portion really, really quickly. Uh, it's a very, very cool rifle, so I could go all day just talking about specs um, and features, but rather let's just talk about the big stuff. First things first, how to tackle this gun is you have to see it in two different pieces. You have the chassis and you have the uh, conversion kit. So the chassis itself, that is what the SRS A2 here is. There was an A1 before that had a quad rail and some other stuff. They lightened it up on the new A2, uh, among other things, but we won't get too far into it. Once you, you, well, you get the chassis and you choose, do you want FDE, black, or black and FDE? That's what this one is, it's the two-tone. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, the chassis itself, if I remind myself, is your ticket in $3,370 for the SRS. Now, once you have that, you can pick your caliber by getting a conversion kit. The kit is a barrel, a mag, and a new bolt assembly. Um, and you can go from, I'm not gonna list them all, but 308, 65, 300 Win Mag, 338 Lapua, some Norma Magnums in there, uh, different barrel lengths. Check out the website if you want to. This is a 26 inch barrel, 65 Creedmoor. May not look 26 inch barrel. This is where I might be preaching to the choir, but this is a bullpup rifle. You may not know what that is, so I'll just say it really quickly. Uh, bullpup means the action is quite a bit behind the trigger. Typically, you'll have a pistol grip or your grip with the trigger here, and the bolt will start to feed in the ramp right about here. So this packs in quite a bit more barrel, so you get a lot of velocity without, I mean, if this was a traditional 26 inch barrel, it would be way out here. If I've got another 26 inch uh, 338 Lapua, I do actually, I'll put those side by side. You guys can kind of get a uh, size reference, how much the bullpup saves in overall uh, length. Usually with bullpups, you get pretty crappy triggers. Not the case with this one. This is the first, honestly, Desert Tech this is the first Desert Tech I've shot, and this is the first in general from a bullpup. That felt like a really good trigger. It is adjustable, so that's cool. All right, the conversion kit themselves, uh, kind of a steep uh, price, but it makes sense. That's what completes the gun, and it's the three pieces between the barrel, bolt, and the mag. Uh, as you see it, this one right here is $1,600. They could get up to $1,950, depending. So you could go from short action, long action, all in the SRS. If you want to go really, really big bore, you get the HTI, uh, which is a different chassis but same concept, and that can be 375 shy tac 408 shy tac and 50 BMG. I kid you not, I actually really, really want an all black one and uh, 50 BMG, but you know, money. So anyway, uh, we'll put that in the back burner. That'd be really cool. But 6.5 Creedmoor is just a sweet round. I don't really need to sell you guys on it. I'm a big fan of it. And uh, these things are quite accurate. And I don't know, I thought 6.5 was cool, but if I want a 3.3 Lapua, I can do that later. All right, so if you haven't done the math yet between the chassis and this particular conversion kit, we're at just under uh, $5,000. So you can kind of think of that as you will. There's other out-of-box guns that are way less. Uh, there's a lot of competition, custom guns that are way, way more. Um, but I'll tell you what, for the most part, you get what you pay for in this segment of rifles. Uh, if you got this, knowing what you're getting into between a multi-caliber bullpup thing, there's not much else that does what this does, so I don't really think there's much competition on it, and I think you get your money's worth big time on it. A couple little things here and there. Like I said, from the A1 to the A2, they went with an M-lock system here, no rails here. Um, the nickel boron coated bolt is actually a new thing. They used to be black. I think it looks cool like this. Got a uh, integrated monopod here, which is really cool. Quick adjustments, and then just uh, lefty loosey righty toddy for fine adjustments, like the Barrett in a way. So I've got a spur mount here because this particular gun had no um, 
free cant 20 MOA or nothing like that. So this burr mount has 40 MOA, you, you know, just in case I really want to stretch out there. And this is a Vortex Razor HD Gen 2 with the H59 reticle. I couldn't decide which was my favorite between the H59 and the Trimmer 3. I think I decided I like the H59 a little bit more. 4.5 to 27 by 56, this thing. Um, certainly will not be the limiting factor on getting out there and uh, reaching out to some distance. All right, all ready to go for 455 yards. Uh, real quick note, shooting some 140 grain Botel hollow point. This is the Hornady American Gunner line of ammunition. It's not match ammunition, but for plinking around without spending a fortune per shot, it's really, really good. And I found it to be very accurate. Uh, and later, the stuff that I shot last month at a mile, same ammo. So it's actually very, very capable. I think I got six shots loaded up into the mag. Um, cold bore at 455. I did a rough zero on this thing, so forgive me if I miss the first one. Hopefully, if I do, we'll kind of see where it lands. Gonna have to hold this hat weird, just trying to block some glare. All right, if it works, it's not stupid. All right, it's stupid. Well, that is a fantastic start. I'm like shooting right into the sun. Should have brought a uh, sunshade, that was my bad, but whatever. Let's uh, see if we can just group it. Totally stacked it. And uh, this bolt's actually a lot more natural to run than I thought it would be, just being as far back as it is as a bull pup. It's actually pretty natural. I could stay on the uh, the reticle. Oh my! Totally stacking these. I'm going to have to walk down there. If it stays that tight of a group, I'm going to have to walk down there when I'm done, show you guys what we're dealing with. Holy crap. One more. It's a five-shot group right there, though. I'm not gonna lie, I mean, that's not bad, but that last shot surprised me a little bit. The light trigger still kind of ju totally jumped on it, but it stayed pretty tight. Um, yeah, I totally pulled it. Crap, that would have been a really good group. That was my bad, considering though it's still right about there. All right, before we go to 686, actually, real quick, I was shooting from here and target at 455 yards here. Six shots, taking a look here. Once it hits, like that's a good hit right there, you're trying to get a close up, and then it splatters pretty good around that. So I see one, two, three, I think four, five somewhere here, and then the one I pulled, if I'm not mistaken, was that one. But all in all, shoot, I really don't want to call that because I really jumped the trigger sooner than I wanted to. If I'm not counting that, that's a good, roughly two inches, maybe two and a half, I don't have a tape measure with me, at 455 yards. All right, first round hit, that's always nice. Just a little on that left edge. <laughs> Off to the left. I'm seeing the dust where I am right here, right when I shot, this dust went right to left actually a little quicker, so. Actually, we'll dial some more. <laughs> Good windage, that one just went a bit lower. That's nice and centered. Let's just go for headshots. So don't mind the misses. I could, you know, the gun can only make me so much better. Um, all right, headshot. Ooh, too much wind, I think.
dead center. Let's just do three shots. And just a fair warning, I'm not that fantastic of a shooter when trying to run a bolt quickly. Just kind of a, you know, Texas size plinker, if you will. But we got three shots here. Try to connect uh, three as fast as I possibly can, effectively, with this system. Should be pretty fun. All right, let's go ahead and feed the first. And, uh, all right, don't judge me. That's all I can say. And uh, let's do it. Oh, come on. Oh, I had to miss the last one. I thought the, I thought I was holding okay. Might've been a bit high. Shoot. So let me show you the footage I got from last month and let me explain it real quickly. Started out at a thousand yards and surprise, surprise, it did uh, quite well. It's a pretty big target. I think it was a two MOA target, but um, you know, it was very, very windy. You guys will be able to hear that. It was anywhere from 15 to 25 miles an hour with gust well over 30. Um, and it was mostly tailwind and then a little bit right to left. It was just crazy. You guys will see it for yourselves. Um, it did pretty well there, then stretched out, just jumped all the way to a mile. Uh, didn't get 100% hits, but I didn't expect to. Uh, got a couple consecutive though, and I thought that was really, really cool. I think I got hit, hit, miss, hit, hit, if I'm not mistaken, at a mile. Then backed it back down to a thousand, hit some small plates, then took the barrel out, uh, put it back in, and then immediately got hits at a thousand. I did that twice. Now, the reason the barrel didn't come out, as you'll see all the way, but it, it was enough, obviously, I had these little uh, M-lock rail covers here, and the screws were long enough to where um, it wasn't letting the barrel come all the way out just because of the, the lug or whatever. Um, but it was definitely disengaged and then put back in and torqued, so it's the same thing. So you guys will see that. Um, so let me just play all that footage for you now, and then we'll wrap up later. There it is. That's a hit. That's a... Uh... 1.9 mils for wind and it's only a thousand yards let's see if we can get some repeats now that's nice Delayed to get there. Oh, oh. there we go. Okay, Let's see if we can get two in a row. See if I could end on a hit and then you'll you'll jump on. Interesting. It's not that hot either. Really? Oh, that's awesome. That's cool. Let's see if I can make it again. Yeah, it hits right here. Ah, oh, okay. Now let's see if I can do it again. Yeah. Oh, I like that. I like that. So there it is, guys. Like I said, uh, this is the first video on it, but we'll bring it out here suppressed and uh, try some match ammunition, try zeroing it a few times with other ammo and uh, have a good time with it. But for my first day out here, second day overall, 
I'm so blown away with this gun. I don't believe this will be my last Desert Tech. Um, I kind of want to get an HTI and a 50 BMG once I get some more uh, money in my pocket. Kind of just bought a house recently, so uh, kind of dead broke, but uh, that's okay. I'm having a lot of fun with my SRS in the meantime. This thing is super freaking cool, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one. Take care.